Here we have verse 7 of chapter 2 of John's Gospel. We've just heard the explanation from John that there were these water pots sitting out there, normally used for purification rites among the Jewish people. They'd been provided in connection with the wedding celebration that's going on here so that people, as they're participating in the celebration, could nevertheless uh, submit, uh, submit themselves to the Jewish regulations regarding uh, maintaining ceremonial purity. And so there they were. And we have uh, earlier learned that Mary said to the servants who were there that they should do whatever Jesus would tell them to do. So we're picking up the story here in verse 7. Uh, lege, third person singular, present active indicative. He says, autois, dative case, plural, to them. He says to them, that is to the servants. Ho Jesus, Jesus says to them. And then uh, we have genesata, genesata. It's from the verb that means to fill, uh, genezo. And so that's the word that's used. And genesata is in the uh, imperative second person plural, so he commands these servants that they should fill, tos hudryos, we already had this word in the previous verse, these are water pots, hudere is of course the root of that, the word from which we get words like hydraulic and so on, uh, indicating the use of water, and so fill, tos hudryos, the water pots, hudatos, so this is the word for water, the water pots and the word water, of course, related. This is in the genitive. It's a particular use of the genitive that would suggest being filled of water, literally, or being filled with water is certainly the sense in which we would uh, bring it over into English. Kai, agenison, third person plural, aorist, active indicative, and they filled out toss them, agreeing with uh, uh, the word here in the feminine, so therefore they filled them, feminine pronoun, they filled them. Heos ano, an idiomatic idea, unto the brim, or to the very top. They filled them right up to the brim. We gather from that that these pots were either empty or close to empty. They had been used, and now we're going to replenish the supply of water at the command of Jesus and fill them up right to the top. Presumably the reason John adds that little note that they were filled to the brim is simply to uh, convey to us and to impress upon us the quantity of wine, presumably, that Jesus is now going to manufacture by some kind of miraculous intervention such that the uh, wine is uh, the result of what had started as water. And so we uh, continue the story, of course, uh, with that expectation.